that's my goodies. And then out of nowhere, I just started crying and crying and crying. Bingo. I think she knows that I'm here big better. She likes more red. Hi, how was your day? You ready for the field field trip tomorrow to Charleston? Kind of. Oh yeah, it's some stairs. Just in case you didn't know, you're listening to the Willie Moore Jr. Show. Flat out. Hey girlfriend, um, what is today? Tuesday, the 26th of March. And this morning my husband and Shama left for Charleston on the school trip, Charleston, South Carolina. And as you see, I was in there. They had to, they had to be there at the school at 5.30. So my husband, um, he drove his car and left it parked at the school. I do anything today. I dropped sitting off at school this morning. Um, what else? Dropped sitting off at school, came back home. I make me some pancakes and eggs because I had a taste for them. And it was about a little bit after eight. And then I got into bed because my sleep was disrupted all throughout the night between Kiki coming back from Florida. She came about three something in the morning. So I had to let her in the gate. Then my husband, my husband woke up at four o'clock with his alarm. That woke me up and then they left about five. And then they were texting me a little bit. Then I had to wake up about 6.30 to wake Sadinia up. And then took her to school. And yeah, so after I had my uh, pancake. Oh, my hair got wet. It's raining outside. After I had my pancake and egg, I um, got back. I did a little devotion. And then I ended up going back to sleep. And I probably woke up about, what, a little bit before 12. Your girl was tired. And so now I'm headed to Publix because I was cooking my dinner for the day. I actually started earlier than I normally started. I started right after I got home with Sadinia. And I had everything I needed. My battery about to die. But the breadsticks, I'm, I accidentally burnt them. It wasn't too bad, but I just like, you know what? I'll just go get some new ones because I don't want to hear nobody mouth. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give me some breadsticks and I need to get some more salad so I can make salad to go with the spaghetti. 
and I'm not mixing the spaghetti all together I'm doing it like a pasta I'm doing just the noodles and then the sauce on top um, I call that the fancier spaghetti the fancier way and then lately I've been liking it better like that than the um, mixed spaghetti sorry about that noise in the background in the van as you can see because it's raining outside and I just came back I drove my truck to pick up Sedan and I put it in the garage and I'm like you know what the van is already out I'm just gonna run with it I'm going right down the street here so yeah but anyway um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day probably just chilling I need to be cleaning up my room because it is a mess right now I have things all out of place so I may montage you out doing that you'll see me doing that um, in the, maybe a few other areas but yeah it's a rainy day I just want to just chill and watch Netflix <laughs> I gotta finish up suits I'm almost finished I think I'm on the last um, episode for season 7 season 8 is the last season so it's gonna be no more and I'm so I mean, you can tell when a, a show is losing this you know because that's in the stuff because these just start being crazy towards the end like when it's about to be no more it just start being like just crazy just all over the place but yeah it was a good run only thing about that show is that there's a lot of inappropriate language a lot of cursing and stuff that's the only thing about it and then of course there's some um no it's not no really no sex scene but it's show crazy sex so you just know that's what happened Hi girlfriend it is the next day it is Wednesday March 27 2024 and as you can see I went into I had to drop off something I had to return to UPS for the Amazon return and then I just went over to the altar because it's about that time for me to start to wash my hair and I was looking for because she told me to have to go to Sally's and Ulta to get the things that she told me to get so Ulta did not have they had the big bottle of the shampoo one um parmental conditioner not conditioner but shampoo but i don't want to get the big bottle i want to get the smaller one so i most likely get that offline i did um find the sebastian shampoo and conditioner that she had me pick up so i have to use a clarifying and i have to use a hydrating and i have to use a pre-treatment shampoo Let's see was something else another scalp one the scalp one i have to use the scalp pre-treatment and the scalp shampoo yeah and then i have to get the sebastian heat protectant so when i do do my own hair like i put curls in my hair today oh it's hot out here I, I didn't think it was gonna warm up today but it said it was gonna get to what 74 but it was cold it was cold this morning when i dropped sardinia off at school i was eating my breakfast this morning i've kind of been switching it up and i haven't been doing intermediate fasting as much i seen an article about it causing higher rate of heart um heart disease or heart something i'm not sure about that but that's not the reason why so i just want to switch it up and um see how my body responds and stuff to see if i notice a difference in which one i like best so i've been eating like early morning like eight about nine ish i've been eating in the morning once i get back but i went to Publix this morning and i came back and by the time i got back it was a little bit after nine so i went ahead and made that breakfast that i ate but um while i was sitting there eating uh let me check this see how far it is i was sitting there eating and i was listening to my worship music 
and then out of nowhere I just started crying and crying and crying and there's a scripture that talks about um, our tears I think there's a scripture <clears throat> excuse me okay my camera shut down because it got overheated because I was like right there in the um, sun well, anyway what I was saying was I was sitting there and I just started crying it's just, just sometimes you just don't have the words like the Bible even tell you that you don't have the words and sometimes the Holy Spirit would take over and start praying for you but sometimes your tears are just cries out to the Lord just prayers into the Lord and he knows everything that is on your heart that is on your mind that whatever it may be anything because sometimes you may not even know what it is but it just may be something or things to just on you just, just that are just heavy um just the cares of life and just life in general because life be life in you know sometimes and you don't even have the words to express you know what it is or uh what you want to say or any of that stuff and sometimes your spirit will just just give up give it all up to him and up to the father and that's what happened this morning i'm thankful for that because those times it happens i just don't i don't hold it back in. i, I was kind of holding it in a little bit like keeping it from going full throttle because i was downstairs even though deja was upstairs sleeping asia was in her room sleep i didn't want to wake her up so i kind of kept it cute and um just as like and wiping my tears and stuff like that but it was just like it just I felt it coming and I tried to pull back but it just it just sometimes you just need that release you just need that release and so yeah I just want to encourage you on today that even you know no matter what you're going through even if you don't have the words to articulate it to express it your heavenly father knows what you need he knows what you want he knows what's going on he knows everything because he is sovereign. He is God Almighty. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. He is the I am that I am. He is the. He's everything. So he knows all things. So yeah. So oh, let me find that scripture. That says. Let me see. Let's see where is it. Tears are prayers too. They travel to God when we can't speak. Psalm 56 and 8. Oh wow. Let me go to the Bible app and see. Let me see it in my Bible. Sometimes I be wanting to see it for myself. When I Google, I still sometimes want to see it for myself. Wait a minute. What did I say? 56 8? Uh, 56.8 That was another version but this version says You have kept count of my tossings Put my tears in your bottle and they Are they not in your book? Yeah let me see what my another version I like to do different versions and compare them NLT says you keep track of all my sorrows you have collected all my tears in your bottle and it goes on to talk about yeah but anyway um yeah God he receives all of our, of our expressions of prayer supplication petitions all that stuff so your tears your cries he he knows the he keeps count of all that like you said in the scripture in the word he collects it in a bottle and yeah they're just as good as words if you ask me because he knows all things you're not dealing with man you're not dealing with you know humans you're dealing with the almighty <laughs> okay so yeah hope that bless you on the day if not, save it for another day. Because <laughs> trust me, you're going to need it one day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was sweating in my sleep last night. When I woke up, I was wet. It doesn't happen every night, but it's been happening a lot lately.
Hi, thank you, you too. Hi, Sidinia. How was school, girl? I said my Bible verse. Hey girlfriend, we are home and I'm about to do what I was supposed to do last <laughs> night, which was um, put everything that's out of place back in place. They had she had pajama day at her school today because she took money for the fundraiser. Um one of my little lashes. I was rushing when I did it, so don't judge me, okay? Um one of my lashes came out right there. Oh speaking of it, I need to go get it. I left it right in the side of my car, but I already um, changed my clothes, got on my ownership shirt that I brought at a real estate, um, what was it, like a convention? Not a convention, but a real estate challenge conference that was here in Atlanta last year in, um, I think it was May, if I'm not mistaken, around the time that I went to Missouri for the real estate event there, St. Louis, but anyway... I'm going to monetize you. Oh, I'm going to monetize you this time for real, girl. I'm going to monetize you. I bought these yesterday when I was in the store get, picking up some things for my daughter. And they didn't need them. But I don't, it's been a long time since I had them. I was always a girl gum person growing up. I would go right in your purse and take your gun. I was that girl. Only thing about it, well, we besides the colors and all that, the dyes. It um, loses its flavor so fast. Like, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you just practically have to spit it out. Or, you gotta pop another one in your mouth. Sorry. I'm gonna do pink this time. Well, you gotta put two in there at a time. I got pink this time. It's hard, it hurt my teeth. <laughs> Hey girlfriend and friend boy, I am back. I finished the bathroom. My battery kept dying out, so that's why you don't see you didn't see the rest of me um, clearing it, clearing up the bathroom, putting everything back in its place, and then also cleaning. Um, what else about to say? Just lost my car. Oh, how about my light? I finally I have this light that I can put on my um, camera. It's giving me the good lighting, okay? When I'm in the area, like in at nighttime, because this camera, this Sony camera, does not have like good low lighting, like my um Canon camera do. But I did all that I'm gonna do tonight. Sadina is in the bed, and I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm opening this package right here. I didn't know it was white. 
a replacement filter for my shower head. They send them, what, I think every three months or something like that. But um, I'll have my husband put it in when he get back tomorrow, Friday. They come back tomorrow night, but so far they've been having a good time. Just doing a lot of walking. I just talked to my husband not too long ago. A lot of walking. Um, so I know he's tired. He's like, I don't want to come on any more of these trips. <laughs> It's your turn. But um, because the kids, it's the other kids. The kids get there, and the majority of them don't have any parents there. So, you know how kids get, they get butt wild and just be loud and just, you know, how teenagers, preteens are. That's pretty much it for today. I'm going to end the video, or this part of the video, right here and come back tomorrow. Lord, say the same. Hi girlfriend, it is the next day. It is a little bit after 12 p.m. I took Sadina to school this morning and I came back and I got back in the bed. It was cold this morning. It was like in the 40s. Now it's like 62. Still cold to me. <laughs> uh, I gotta go in here and um, wash my face. This white cream I had on there last night. Um, it's still on there. You have to actually like literally. I have to take it off. This is the um, day that my husband and Shama will be back tonight. Sometime tonight. And I need to go to Sally's before I pick Sydney up from school today. This is the last day before spring break. Tomorrow's Good Friday. So their spring break is all next week. Um, I'm going to go to Sally's and see if I can get the other items see if they have them in stock on my hair so when I wash my hair I'll have it and uh, might as well run in Target to take back some stuff some tank top shirts that I had been sitting around in my car for a minute and I think that is it. I don't know what I'm cooking today uh, yesterday I made a chicken salad and we ate it with some of the leftover spaghetti uh, I'm about to go and have the last little bit of spaghetti for lunch. And that's about it. I was so tired because I was up late. And then I had to get up early to take her to school. And I normally don't take her to school. Take I don't take them to school. My husband takes them to school. And I pick them up. So these last few days, your girl has been tired, okay? Because I'm not a morning person. I'm like a night hawk. <laughs> and I've been that way for so long, but I really want to be a morning person. I really want to change and like get up at 5 a.m. and do all the things and all that stuff. I'm going to do like a challenge. I'm going to challenge myself and do it. It's not like I have never did it like got up because I used to have to get up and take the girls to school for a while. But yeah, um, what was I about to tell you? Oh, I was binge watching. Um, I need to get my nails done. I'm going to make an appointment for Saturday evening. And then from there, we'll go. My husband and I will go and like go and have something to eat or something. Hang out for the rest of the night. But I was binge watching Suits because it was almost, I think I'm on the last. I got to the last, the one before the last show of season eight. And then that's it of it. But yeah. So I'm going to get up here and do the things and then go give me something to eat so I can get out of here. Four for 25 still on the ion stuff for two of these because I'll probably go through this the most before I wear the shampoo. 
And then I also got this. She said that this one's been selling really good. And so I got it for um, Shaman's um, Deja to use. I'm going to run in Target real quick. i take these. can't talk to the back. This is what I had got. And I already had them. That's why I'm taking them back because I already had these same colors. And this beige one. Cat. You want to be a good cat? Yeah. <laughs> there, that's cute. I want JJ's fish and chicken. She wanted JJ's fish and chicken, so that's what we're doing. They had their fun run today, so that's why she's wearing this red shirt and she's out of uniform. I had so much fun.